Let us pray. Almighty God, as we begin this award ceremony for these great heroes of our freedom, we offer you our thanksgiving and praise, knowing that the price of freedom is extremely high and has always required that many people step forward and do the seemingly impossible. We come to you with a deep sense of gratitude for the gift of life, which we freely enjoy as a result of the heroic deeds of these special soldiers and others like them. We are grateful that you have raised up soldiers like those of the 100th Infantry Battalion and the 442nd Regimental Combat Team. You desire freedom for all the nations of the world, and these soldiers have served as your instruments of peace. The world is better because of their selfless service. We pray that you would bless these great soldiers and their families with your affirmation of well done, good and faithful servant. Bless, we pray, the memories of those awardees that have departed from among us. Their memory serves to make us stronger and more determined than ever to further the cause of peace. Bless our beloved country as we serve to keep America one nation under God, in whose name we pray, amen. Chaplain Hicks, distinguished members of the Senate and the House who are here and large numbers, Secretary and Mrs. Cohen, Secretary and Mrs. West, Secretary Shalala, other members of the administration who are here. I thank all of you for being here on this profoundly important day. In early 1945, a young Japanese American of the 442nd Regimental Combat Team lay dead on a hill in southern France, the casualty of fierce fighting with the Germans. A chaplain went up to pray over him, to bless him, to bring him back down. 
As the chaplain later said, I found a letter in his pocket. The soldier had just learned that some vandals in California had burned down his father's home and barn in the name of patriotism. And yet this young man had volunteered for every patrol he could go on. In a few moments, I will ask the military aides to read individual citations detailing the extraordinary bravery of 22 Asian American soldiers, some still with us, some to be represented by family members. We recognize them today with our nation's highest military honor, the Medal of Honor. They risked their lives above and beyond the call of duty. And in so doing, they did more than defend America. In the face of painful prejudice, they helped to define America at its best. We have many distinguished Americans here today, members of the Senate and House, including at least one Medal of Honor winner, Senator Kerry. We have former senators and House members here. But there is one person I would like to introduce and ask to stand, because in a profound and fundamental way, he stands on the shoulders of these whom we honor today and all those who have worked for 50 years to set the record straight. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to recognize the Chief of Staff of the United States Army, General Eric Shinseki. Thank you. Immediately following Pearl Harbor, Japanese Americans in the United States military were forced to surrender their weapons. National Guardsmen were dismissed. Volunteers were rejected. Draft-age youth were classified as, quote, enemy aliens. Executive Order 9066 authorized military commanders to force more than 100,000 Japanese Americans from their homes and farms and businesses onto trains and buses and into camps where they were placed behind barbed wire and tar paper barracks in places like Manzanar, Heart Mountain, Topaz. I am sad to say that one of the most compelling marks of my youth is that one of those camps was in my home state. One resident of the camps remembers his 85-year-old grandmother standing in line for food with her tin cup and plate. Another remembers only watchtowers, guards, guilt, and fear. Another has spent years telling her children, no, grandfather was not a spy. The astonishing fact is that young men of Japanese descent, both in Hawaii and on the mainland, were still willing, even eager, to take up arms to defend America. In 1942, a committee of the Army recommended against forming a combat unit of Japanese Americans, citing, and I quote, the universal distrust in which they are held. Yet Americans of Japanese ancestry, joined by others of good faith, pressed the issue. And a few months later, President Roosevelt authorized a combat team of Japanese American volunteers. In approving the unit, FDR said, Americanism is a matter of the mind and heart. Americanism is not and never was a matter of race or ancestry. That statement from President Roosevelt, so different from the executive order of just a year before, showed a nation pulled between its highest ideals and its darkest fears. We were not only fighting for freedom and equality abroad, we were also in a struggle here at home over whether America would be defined narrowly on the basis of race or broadly on the basis of shared values and ideals. 
When young Japanese American men volunteered enthusiastically, some Americans were puzzled. But those who volunteered knew why. Their own country had dared to, dared to question their patriotism, and they would not rest until they had proved their loyalty. As sons set off to war, so many mothers and fathers told them, live if you can, die if you must, but fight always with honor and never ever bring shame on your family or your country. Rarely has a nation been so well served by a people it had so ill treated. For their numbers and length of service, the Japanese Americans of the 442nd Regimental Combat Team, including the 100th Infantry Battalion, became the most decorated unit in American military history. By the end of the war, America's military leaders in Europe all wanted these men under their command. Their motto was, go for broke. They risked it all to win it all. They created a custom of reverse AWOL. Wounded soldiers left their hospital beds against doctor's orders to return to battle. They were veterans of seven brutal campaigns. They fought in Italy to overwhelm entrenched German positions that blocked the path north. They fought in France and liberated towns that still remember them with memorials. They took 800 casualties in just five days of continuous combat in southern France to rescue the lost battalion of Texas, which had been surrounded by German troops. As their heroic efforts forced back the Nazis in Europe, news of their patriotism began to beat back prejudice in America. But prejudice is a stubborn foe. Captain Daniel Inouye, back from the war in full uniform, decorated with the Distinguished Service Cross, the Bronze Star, Purple Heart with Cluster, and 12 other medals and citations, tried to get a haircut and was told, we don't cut Jap hair. As Captain Inouye said later, I was tempted to break up the place, but he had already done all the fighting he needed to do. People across the country had learned of his heroism and that of his colleagues, and loyal Americans were eager to teach others the difference between patriotism and prejudice. A group of Army veterans who knew firsthand the heroism of Japanese American soldiers attacked prejudice in a letter to the Des Moines Register. It said, when you have seen these boys blown to bits, going through shell fire that others refuse to go through, that is the time to voice your opinion, not before. In Los Angeles, a Japanese-American soldier boarded a bus in full uniform as a passenger hurled a racial slur. The driver heard the remark, stopped the bus, and said, Lady, apologize to this American soldier or get off my bus. This defense of our ideals here at home was inspired by the courage of Japanese-Americans in battle. Senator Inouye, you wrote that your father told you as you left at age 18 to join the Army and fight a war that the NOAs owe an unrepayable debt to America. If I may say so, sir, more than half a century later, America owes an unrepayable debt to you and your colleagues. Fifty-four summers ago, just a few steps from this very spot, President Truman greeted the returning members of the 442nd and told them, you fought not only the enemy, but you fought prejudice, and you have won. Let us not also forget that Americans of Japanese, Korean, Chinese, and Filipino descent, along with Alaskan Natives, all faced the same blind prejudice. That is why we are proud to honor here today the service of Second Lieutenant Rudolph B. Davila, an American of Filipino and Spanish descent, who risked his lives to help break life to help break through the German lines near Anzio, and Captain Francis Y., an American of Chinese descent, 
who gave his life securing an important beachhead in the Philippine Islands. Americans of Asian descent did much more than prove they were Americans. They made our nation more American. They pushed us toward that more perfect union of our founders' dreams. The report of the Presidential Commission on Wartime Relocation and Internment of Civilians, some 20 years ago now, called internment an injustice based on race prejudice, war hysteria, and a failure of political leadership. It prescribed several steps for redress, including an apology from the Congress and the President. Some years later, many leaders backed legislation sponsored by Senator Daniel Akaka to review the combat records of Asian Americans in World War II to determine if any deserving service members had been passed over for the Medal of Honor. The review found, indeed, that some extraordinarily brave soldiers never did receive the honors they clearly had earned. So today, America awards 22 of them the Medal of Honor. They risked their lives on their own initiative, sometimes even against orders, to take out machine guns, give aid to wounded soldiers, draw fire, pinpoint the enemy, protect their own. People who can agree on nothing else fall silent before that kind of courage. But it is long past time to break the silence about their courage to put faces and names with the courage and to honor it by name. Davila, Hajiro, Hayashi, Inoue, Kobashigawa, Okutsu, Sakato, Hasemoto, Hayashi, Kuroda, Moto, Muranaga, Nakaye, Nakamine, Nakamura, Nishimoto, Ohata, Okubo, Ono, Otani, Tanawe, Wai. These American soldiers, with names we at, lost la at long last recognize as American names, made an impact that soars beyond the force of any battle. They left a lasting imprint on the meaning of America. They didn't give up on our country, even when too many of their countrymen and women had given up on them. They deserve, at the least, the most we can give, the Medal of Honor. I would like now to ask the military aides to read the citations. The Medal of Honor is awarded to Staff Sergeant Rudolph B. Davila for extraordinary heroism in action on 28 May 1944 near Artina, Italy, during the offensive which broke through the German mountain strongholds surrounding the Anzio beachhead. Staff Sergeant Davila risked death to provide heavy weapon support for a beleaguered rifle company. Caught on an exposed hillside by heavy grazing fire from a well-entrenched German force, his machine gunners were reluctant to risk putting their guns into action. Crawling 50 yards to the nearest machine gun, Staff Sergeant Davila set it up alone and opened fire on the enemy. In order to observe the effects of his fire, Staff Sergeant Davila fired from the kneeling position, ignoring the enemy fire that struck the tripod and passed between his legs. Ordering a gunner to take over, he crawled forward to a vantage point and directed the firefight with hand and arm signals until both hostile machine guns were silenced. Bringing his three remaining machine guns into action, he drove the enemy to a reserve position 200 yards to the rear. When he received a painful wound in the leg, he dashed to a burned tank and despite the crash of bullets on the hull, engaged a second enemy force from the tank's turret. Dismounting, he advanced 130 yards in short rushes crawled 20 yards and charged into an enemy-held house to eliminate the defending force of five with a hand grenade and rifle fire. Climbing to the attic, he straddled a large shell hole in the wall and opened fire on the enemy. Although the walls of the house were crumbling, he continued to fire until he had destroyed two more machine guns. 
His intrepid actions brought desperately needed heavy weapon support to a hard-pressed rifle company and silenced four machine gunners, which forced the enemy to abandon their prepared positions. Staff Sergeant Davila's extraordinary heroism and devotion to duty are in keeping with the highest traditions of the military service and reflect great credit on him, his unit, and the United States Army. The Medal of Honor is awarded to Private Barney F. Hajiro for extraordinary heroism in action on 1922 and 29 October 1944 in the vicinity of Bruyeres and Bifontaine, Eastern France. Private Hajiro, while acting as a sentry on top of an embankment on 19 October 1944 in the vicinity of Bruyeres, France, rendered assistance to Allied troops attacking a house 200 yards away by exposing himself to enemy fire and directing fire at an enemy strong point. He assisted the unit on his right by firing his automatic rifle and killing or wounded two enemy snipers. On 22 October 1944, he and one comrade took up an outpost security position about 50 yards to the right front of their platoon, concealed themselves, and ambushed an 18-man, heavily armed enemy patrol killing two, wounding one, and taking the remainder as prisoners. On 29 October 1944, in a wooded area in the vicinity of Bafontaine, France, Private Hajiro initiated an attack up a slope of a hill referred to as Suicide Hill by running forward approximately 100 yards under fire. He then advanced ahead of his comrades about 10 yards, drawing fire and spotting camouflage machine gun nests. He fearlessly met fire with fire and single-handedly destroyed two machine gun nests and killed two enemy snipers. As a result of Private Hajiro's heroic actions, the attack was successful. Private Hajiro's extraordinary heroism and devotion to duty are in keeping with the highest traditions of military service and reflect great credit upon him, his unit, and the United States Army. The Medal of Honor is awarded to Private Shizuya Hayashi for extraordinary heroism in action on 29 November 1943 near Sarasuolo, Italy. During a flank assault on high ground held by the enemy, Private Hayashi rose alone in the face of grenade, rifle, and machine gun fire. Firing his automatic rifle from the hip, he charged and overtook an enemy machine gun position, killing seven men in the nest and two more as they fled. After his platoon advanced 200 yards from this point, an enemy anti-aircraft gun opened fire on the men. Private Hayashi returned fire at the hostile position, killing nine of the enemy, taking four prisoners, and forcing the remainder of the force to withdraw from the hill. Private Hayashi's extraordinary heroism and devotion to duty are in keeping with the highest traditions of the military service and reflect great credit on him, his unit, and the United States Army. The Medal of Honor is awarded to Second Lieutenant Daniel K. Inouye for extraordinary heroism in action on 21 April 1945 in the vicinity of San Terenzo, Italy. While attacking a defended ridge guarding an important road junction, Second Lieutenant Inouye skillfully directed his platoon through a hail of automatic weapon and small arms fire in a swift enveloping movement that resulted in the capture of an artillery and mortar post and brought his men to within 40 yards of the hostile force. Emplaced in bunkers and rock formations, the enemy halted the advance with crossfire from three machine guns. With complete disregard for his personal safety, Second Lieutenant Inouye crawled up the treacherous slope 
to within five yards of the nearest machine gun and hurled two grenades, destroying the emplacement. Before the enemy could retaliate, he took up and neutralized a second machine gun nest. Although wounded by a sniper's bullet, he continued to engage other hostile positions at close range until an exploding grenade shattered his right arm. Despite the intense pain, he refused evacuation and continued to direct his platoon until enemy resistance was broken and his men were again deployed in a defensive position. In the attack, 25 enemy soldiers were killed and eight others captured. By his gallant, aggressive tactics and by his indomitable leadership, 2nd Lieutenant Inouye enabled his platoon to advance through formidable resistance and was instrumental in the capture of the ridge. Second Lieutenant Inouye's extraordinary heroism and devotion to duty are in keeping with the highest traditions of military service and reflect great credit on him, his unit, and the United States Army. The Medal of Honor is awarded to Technical Sergeant Yaiki Kobashigawa for extraordinary heroism in action on 2 June 1944 in the vicinity of Lanubio, Italy. During an attack, Technical Sergeant Kobashigawa's platoon encountered strong enemy resistance from a series of machine guns providing supporting fire. Observing a machine gun nest 50 yards from his position, Technical Sergeant Kobashigawa crawled forward with one of his men, threw a hand grenade, and then charged the enemy with a submachine gun while a fellow shoulder provided covering fire. He killed one enemy soldier and captured two prisoners. Meanwhile, Technical Sergeant Kobashigawa and his comrade were fired upon by another machine gun 50 yards ahead. Directing a squad to advance to his first position, Technical Sergeant Kobashigawa again moved forward with a fellow soldier to subdue the second machine gun nest. After throwing grenades into the position, Technical Sergeant Kobashigawa provided close supporting fire while a fellow soldier charged, capturing four prisoners. On the alert for other machine gun nests, Technical Sergeant Kobashigawa discovered four more and skillfully led a squad in neutralizing two of them. Technical Sergeant Kobashigawa's extraordinary heroism and devotion to duty are in keeping with the highest traditions of the military service and reflect great credit on him, his unit, and the United States Army. The Medal of Honor is awarded to Technical Sergeant Yokiyu Okutsu for extraordinary heroism in action on 7 April 1945 on Mount Belvedere, Italy. While his platoon was halted by crossfire of three machine guns, Technical Sergeant Okutsu boldly crawled to within 30 yards of the nearest enemy emplacement through heavy fire. He destroyed the position with two accurately placed hand grenades, killing three machine gunners. Crawling and dashing from cover to cover, he threw another grenade, silencing a second machine gun, wounding two enemy soldiers, and forcing two others to surrender. Seeing a third machine gun, which obstructed his platoon's advance, he moved forward through heavy small arms fire and was stunned momentarily by rifle fire, which glanced off his helmet. Recovering, he bravely charged several enemy riflemen with his submachine gun, forcing them to withdraw from their positions. Then, rushing the machine gun nest, he captured the weapon and its entire crew of four. By these single-handed actions, he enabled his platoon to resume its assault on a vital objective. The courageous performance of Technical Sergeant Okutsu against formidable odds was an inspiration to all. Technical Sergeant Okutsu's extraordinary heroism and devotion to duty are in keeping with the highest traditions of military service and reflect great credit on him, his unit, and the United States Army.
The Medal of Honor is awarded to Private George T. Sicato for extraordinary heroism in action on 29 October 1944 on Hill 617 in the vicinity of Biffontaine, France. After his platoon had virtually destroyed two enemy defense lines, during which he personally killed five enemy soldiers and captured four, his unit was pinned down by heavy enemy fire. Disregarding the enemy fire, Private Sakato made a one-man rush that encouraged his platoon to charge and destroy the enemy strong point. While his platoon was reorganizing, he proved to be the inspiration of his squad in halting a counterattack on the left flank during which his squad leader was killed. Taking charge of the squad, he continued his relentless tactics using an enemy rifle and P-38 pistol to stop an organized enemy attack. During this entire action, he killed 12 and wounded two, personally captured four, and assisted his platoon in taking 34 prisoners. By continuously ignoring enemy fire, and by his gallant courage and fighting spirit, he turned impending defeat into victory and helped his platoon complete its mission. Private Sakato's extraordinary heroism and devotion to duty are in keeping with the highest traditions of the military service and reflect great credit on him, his unit, and the United States Army. The Medal of Honor is awarded to Private Mikio Hasemoto for extraordinary heroism in action on 29 November 1943 in the vicinity of Serra Suolo, Italy. A force of approximately 40 enemy soldiers, armed with machine guns, machine pistols, rifles and grenades, attacked the left flank of his platoon. Two enemy soldiers with machine guns advanced forward firing their weapons. Private Heisimoto, an automatic rifleman, challenged these two machine gunners. After firing four magazines at the approaching enemy, his weapon was shot and damaged. Unhesitatingly, he ran 10 yards to the rear, secured another automatic rifle, and continued to fire until his weapon jammed. At this point, Private Heisimoto and his squad leader had killed approximately 20 enemy soldiers. Again. Private Hazimoto ran through a barrage of enemy machine gun fire to pick up an M1 rifle. Continuing their fire, Private Hazimoto and his squad leader killed 10 more enemy soldiers. With only three enemy soldiers left, he and his squad leader charged courageously forward, killing one, wounding one, and capturing another. The following day, Private Hazimoto continued to repel enemy attacks until he was killed by enemy fire. Private Hazimoto's extraordinary heroism and devotion to duty are in keeping with the highest traditions of military service and reflect great credit on him, his unit, and the United States Army. The Medal of Honor is awarded to Private Joe Hayashi for extraordinary heroism in action on 20 and 22 April 1945 near Tendola, Italy. On 20 April 1945, ordered to attack a strongly defended hill that commanded all approaches to the village of Tendola, Private Hayashi skillfully led his men to a point within 75 yards of enemy positions before they were detected and fired upon. After dragging his wounded comrades to safety, he returned alone and exposed himself to small arms fire in order to direct and adjust mortar fire against hostile emplacements. Boldly attacking the hill with the remaining men of his squad, he attained his objective and discovered that the mortars had neutralized three machine guns, killed 27 men, and wounded many others. On 22 April 1945, attacking the village of Tendola, Private Hayashi maneuvered his squad up a steep, terraced hill to within 100 yards of the enemy. Crawling under intense fire to a hostile machine gun position, he threw a grenade, killing in one enemy soldier and forcing the other members of the gun crew to surrender. Seeing four enemy machine guns delivering deadly fire upon the other elements of his platoon, he threw another grenade, destroying a machine gun nest. He then crawled to the right flank of another machine gun position, where he killed four enemy soldiers and forced the others to flee. Attempting to pursue the enemy, he was mortally wounded by a burst of machine gun pistol fire. The dauntless courage and exemplary leadership of Private Hayashi enabled his company to attain its objective. Private Hayashi's extraordinary heroism and devotion to duty are in keeping with the highest traditions of military service and reflect great credit on him, his unit, and the United States Army.
The Medal of Honor is awarded to Staff Sergeant Robert T. Kuroda for extraordinary heroism in action on 20 October 1944 near Bruyères, France, leading his men in advance to destroy snipers and machine gun nests. Staff Sergeant Kuroda encountered heavy fire from enemy soldiers occupying a heavily wooded slope. Unable to pinpoint the hostile machine gun, he boldly made his way through heavy fire to the crest of the ridge. Once he located the machine gun, Staff Sergeant Kuroda advanced to a point within 10 yards of the nest and killed three enemy gunners with grenades. He then fired clip after clip of rifle ammunition, killing or wounding at least three enemy soldiers. As he expended the last of his ammunition, he observed that an American officer had been struck by a burst of fire from a hostile machine gun located on an adjacent hill. Rushing to the officer's assistance, he found that the officer had been killed. Picking up the officer's submachine gun, Staff Sergeant Kurauda advanced through continuous fire toward a second machine gun emplacement and destroyed the position. As he turned to fire upon additional enemy soldiers, he was killed by a sniper. Staff Sergeant Kuroda's courageous actions and indomitable fighting spirit ensured the destruction of enemy resistance in the sector. Staff Sergeant Kuroda's extraordinary heroism and devotion to duty are in keeping with the highest traditions of military service and reflect great credit upon him, his unit, and the United States Army. The Medal of Honor is awarded to Private First Class Kaoru Moto for extraordinary heroism in action on 7 July 1944 near Castellina, Italy. While serving as first scout, Private First Class Moto observed a machine gun nest that was hindering his platoon's progress. On his own initiative, he made his way to a point 10 paces from the hostile position and killed the enemy machine gunner. Immediately, the enemy assistant gunner opened fire in the direction of Private First Class Moto. Crawling to the rear of the position, Private First Class Moto surprised the enemy soldier, who quickly surrendered. Taking his prisoner with him, Private First Class Moto took a position a few yards from a house to prevent the enemy from using the building as an observation post. While guarding the house and his prisoner, he observed an enemy machine gun team moving into position. He engaged them and with deadly fire forced the enemy to withdraw. An enemy sniper located in another house fired at Private First Class Moto, severely wounding him. Applying first aid to his own wound, he changed position to elude the sniper fire and to advance. Finally relieved of his position, he made his way to the rear for treatment. Crossing a road, he spotted an enemy machine gun nest. Opening fire, he wounded two of the three soldiers occupying the position. Not satisfied with this accomplishment, he then crawled forward to a better position and ordered the enemy soldier to surrender. Receiving no answer, Private First Class Moto fired at the position and the soldier surrendered. Private First Class Moto's extraordinary heroism and devotion to duty are in keeping with the highest traditions of the military service and reflect great credit on him, his unit, and the United States Army. The Medal of Honor is awarded to Private First Class Kiyoshi Morinaga for extraordinary heroism in action on 26 June 1944 near Suvaretto, Italy. Private First Class Morinaga's company encountered a strong enemy force in commanding positions and with superior firepower. An enemy 88mm self-propelled gun opened direct fire on the company, causing the men to disperse and seek cover. Private First Class Murunaga's mortar squad was ordered to action, but the terrain made it impossible to set up their weapons. The squad leader, realizing the vulnerability of the mortar position, moved his men away from the gun to positions of relative safety. Because of the heavy casualties being inflicted on his company, Private First Class Murunaga, who served as a gunner, attempted to neutralize the 88 millimeter weapon alone. Voluntarily remaining at his gun position, Private First Class Murunaga manned the mortar himself and opened fire on the enemy gun at a range of approximately 400 yards. With his third round, he was able to correct his fire so that the shell landed directly in front of the enemy gun. Meanwhile, the enemy crew, immediately aware of the source of the mortar fire, turned their 88 millimeter weapon directly on Private First Class Murunaga's position. Before 
Private First Class Murunaga could fire a fourth round, an 88 millimeter shell scored a direct hit on his position, killing him instantly. Because of the accuracy of Private First Class Murunaga's previous fire, the enemy soldiers decided not to risk further exposure and immediately abandoned their position. Private First Class Murunaga's extraordinary heroism and devotion to duty are keeping with the highest traditions of military service and reflect great credit on him, his unit, and the United States Army. The Medal of Honor is awarded to Private Masato Nakai for extraordinary heroism in action on 19 August 1944 near Pisa, Italy. When his submachine gun was damaged by a shell fragment during a fierce attack by a superior enemy force, Private Nakai quickly picked up his wounded comrade's M1 rifle and fired rifle grenades at the steadily advancing enemy. As the hostile force continued to close in on his position, Private Nakai threw six grenades and forced them to withdraw. During a concentrated enemy bar mortar barrage, that preceded the next assault by the enemy force, a mortar shell fragment seriously wounded Private Nakai. During, despite his injury, he refused to surrender his position and continued firing at the advancing enemy. By inflicting heavy casualties on the enemy force, he finally succeeded in breaking up the attack and caused the enemy to withdraw. Private Nakai's extraordinary heroism and devotion to duty are in keeping with the highest traditions of the military service and reflect great credit on him, his unit, and the United States Army. The Medal of Honor is awarded to Private Shinye Nakamini for extraordinary heroism in action on 2 June 1944 near La Torretta, Italy. During an attack, Private Nakamini's platoon became pinned down by intense machine gun fire from a small knoll 200 yards to the front. On his own initiative, Private Nakamini crawled toward one of the hostile weapons. Reaching a point 25 yards from the enemy, he charged the machine gun nest, firing his submachine gun and killed three enemy soldiers and captured two. Later that afternoon, Private Nakamini discovered an enemy soldier on the right flank of his platoon's position. Crawling 25 yards from his position, Private Nakamini opened fire and killed the soldier. Then, seeing a machine gun nest to his front approximately 75 yards away, he returned to his platoon and led an automatic rifle team towards the enemy. Under covering fire from his team, Private Nakamini crawled to a point 25 yards from the nest and threw hand grenades at the enemy soldiers, wounding one and capturing four. Spotting another machine gun nest 100 yards to his right flank, he led the automatic rifle team towards the hostile position, but was killed by a burst of machine gun fire. Private Nakamini's extraordinary heroism and devotion to duty are in keeping with the highest traditions of military service and reflect great credit on him his unit, and the United States Army. The Medal of Honor is awarded to Private First Class William K. Nakamura for extraordinary heroism in action on 4 July 1944 near Castellina, Italy. During a fierce firefight, Private First Class Nakamura's platoon became pinned down by enemy machine gun fire from a concealed position. On his own initiative, Private First Class Nakamura crawled 20 yards toward the hostile nest with fire from the enemy machine gun barely missing him. Reaching a point 15 yards from the position, he quickly raised himself to a kneeling position and threw four hand grenades, killing or wounding at least three of the enemy soldiers. The enemy weapon silenced, Private First Class Nakamura crawled back to his platoon, which was able to continue its advance as a result of his courageous action. Later, his company was ordered to withdraw from the crest of a hill so that a mortar barrage could be placed on the ridge. On his own initiative, Private First Class Nakamura remained in position to cover his comrades' withdrawal. While moving toward the safety of a wooded draw, his platoon became pinned down by deadly machine gun fire. Crawling to a point from which he could fire on the enemy position, Private First Class Nakamura quickly and accurately fired his weapon to pin down the enemy machine gunners. His platoon was then able to withdraw to safety without further casualties. Private First Class Nakamura was killed during his heroic stand. 
Private First Class Nakamura's extraordinary heroism and devotion to duty are in keeping with the highest traditions of the military service and reflect great credit on him, his unit, and the United States Army. The Medal of Honor is awarded to Private First Class Joe M. Nishimoto for extraordinary heroism in action on 7 November 1944 near La Housere, France. After three days of unsuccessful attempts by his company to dislodge the enemy from a strongly defended ridge, Private First Class Nishimoto, as acting squad leader, boldly crawled forward through a heavily mined and booby-trapped area. Spotting a machine gun nest, he hurled a grenade and destroyed the emplacement. Then, circling to the rear of another machine gun position, he fired his submachine gun at point-blank range, killing one gunner and wounding another. Pursuing two enemy riflemen, Private First Class Nishimoto killed one while the other hastily retreated. Continuing his determined assault, he drove another machine gun crew from its position. The enemy, with their key strong points taken, were forced to withdraw from this sector. Private First Class Nishimoto's extraordinary heroism and devotion to duty are in keeping with the highest traditions of military service and reflect great credit on him, his unit, and the United States Army. The Medal of Honor is awarded to Sergeant Alan M. Ohata for extraordinary heroism in action on 29 and 30 November 1943 near Sarasuolo, Italy. Sergeant Ohata, his squad leader, and three men were ordered to protect his platoon's left flank against an attacking enemy force of 40 men, armed with machine guns, machine pistols, and rifles. He posted one of his men, an automatic rifleman, on the extreme left, 15 yards from his own position. Taking his position, Sergeant Ohata delivered effective fire against the advancing enemy. The man to his left called for assistance when his automatic rifle was shot and damaged. With utter disregard for his personal safety, Sergeant Ohada left his position and advanced 15 yards through heavy machine gun fire. Reaching his comrade's position, he immediately fired upon the enemy, killing 10 enemy soldiers and successfully covering his comrade's withdrawal to replace his damaged weapon. Sergeant Ohada and the automatic rifleman held their position and killed 37 enemy soldiers. Both men then charged the three remaining soldiers and captured them. Later, Sergeant Ohada and the automatic rifleman stopped another attacking force of 14, killing four and wounding three while the others fled. The following day, he and the automatic rifleman held their flank with grim determination and staved off all attacks. Staff Sergeant Ohada's extraordinary heroism and devotion to duty are in keeping with the highest traditions of the military service and reflect great credit on him, his unit, and the United States Army. The Medal of Honor is awarded to Technician 5th Grade James K. Okubu for extraordinary heroism in action on 28 and 29 October and 4 November 1944 in the Foray Dominal des Champs near Bafontaine, Eastern France. On 28 October, under strong enemy fire coming from behind minefields and roadblocks, Technician 5th Grade Okubu a medic crawled 150 yards to within 40 yards of the enemy lines. Two grenades were thrown at him while he left his last covered position to carry back wounded comrades. Under constant barrages of enemy small arms and machine gun fire, he treated 17 men on 28 October and eight more men on 29 October. On 4 November, technician 5th grade Okubo ran 75 yards under grazing machine gun fire and while exposed to hostile fire, directed at him, evacuated and treated a seriously wounded crewman from a burning tank who otherwise would have died. Technician 5th grade James K. Okubo's extraordinary heroism and devotion to duty are in keeping with the highest traditions of military service and reflect great credit on him, his service, and the United States Army.
The Medal of Honor is awarded to Private First Class Frank H. Ono for extraordinary heroism in action on 4 July 1944 near Castellina, Italy. In attacking a heavily defended hill, Private First Class Ono's squad was caught in a hail of formidable fire from the well-entrenched enemy. Private First Class Ono opened fire with his automatic rifle and silenced one machine gun 300 yards to the right front. Advancing through incessant fire, he killed a sniper with another burst of fire, and while his squad leader reorganized the rest of the platoon in the rear, he alone defended the critical position. His weapon was then wrenched from his grasp by a burst of enemy machine pistol fire as enemy troops attempted to close in on him. Hurling hand grenades, Private First Class Ono forced the enemy to abandon the attempt, resolutely defending the newly won ground until the rest of the platoon moved forward. Taking a wounded comrade's rifle, Private First Class Ono again joined in the assault. After killing two more enemy soldiers, he boldly ran through withering automatic small arms and mortar fire to render first aid to his platoon leader and a seriously wounded rifleman. In danger of being encircled, the platoon was ordered to withdraw. Volunteering to cover the platoon, Private First Class Ono occupied virtually unprotected positions near the crest of the hill, engaging an enemy machine gun emplaced on an adjoining ridge and exchanging fire with snipers armed with machine pistols. Completely disregarding his own safety, he made himself the constant target of concentrated enemy fire until the platoon reached the comparative safety of a draw. He then descended the hill in stages, firing his rifle until he rejoined the platoon. First Class Ono's extraordinary heroism and devotion to duty are in keeping with the highest traditions of the military service and reflect great credit on him, his unit, and the United States Army. The Medal of Honor is awarded to Staff Sergeant Kazuo Tani for extraordinary heroism in action on 15 July 1944 near Pieve di San Luis, Italy. Advancing to attack a hill objective, Staff Sergeant Otani's platoon became pinned down in a wheat field by concentrated fire from enemy machine gun and sniper positions. Realizing the danger confronting his platoon, Staff Sergeant Otani left his cover and shot and killed a sniper who was firing with deadly effect upon the platoon. Followed by a steady stream of machine gun bullets, Staff Sergeant Otani then dashed across the open wheat field toward the foot of a cliff and directed his men to crawl to cover of the cliff. When the movement of the platoon draw, drew heavy enemy fire, he dashed along the cliff towards the left flank, exposing himself to enemy fire. By attracting the attention of the enemy, he enabled the men closest to the cliff to reach cover. Organizing these men to guard against possible enemy counterattack, Staff Sergeant Otani again made his way across the open field, shouting instructions to the stranded men while continuing to draw enemy fire. Reaching the rear of the platoon position, he took partial cover in a shallow ditch and directed covering fire for the men who had begun to move forward. At this point, one of the men became seriously wounded. Ordering his men to remain under cover, Staff Sergeant Otani crawled to the wounded soldier who was lying on open ground in full view of the enemy. Dragging the wounded soldier to a shallow ditch, Staff Sergeant Otani proceeded to render first aid treatment but was mortally wounded by machine gun fire. Staff Sergeant Otani's extraordinary heroism and devotion to duty are in keeping with the highest traditions of military service and reflect great credit on him, his unit, and the United States Army. The Medal of Honor is awarded to Technical Sergeant Ted T. Tanaway for extraordinary heroism in action on 7 July 1944 near Molino A. Ventoapto, Italy. Technical Sergeant Tanaway led his platoon in an attack to capture the crest of a strategically important hill that afforded little cover. Observing an enemy machine gun crew placing its gun in position to his left front, Technical Sergeant Tanaway crept forward a few yards and opened fire on the position, killing or wounding three and causing two others to disperse. Immediately, an enemy machine pistol opened fire on him. He returned the fire and killed or wounded three more enemy soldiers. While advancing forward, Technical Sergeant Tanaway was subjected to grenade bursts, which severely wounded his left arm. Sighting an enemy held trench, he raked the position with fire from a submachine gun and wounded several of the enemy. Running out of ammunition, 
He crawled 20 yards to obtain several clips from a comrade on his left flank. Next, sighting an enemy machine pistol that had pinned down his men, Tech Sergeant Tenaway crawled forward a few yards and threw a hand grenade into the position, silencing the pistol. He then located another enemy machine gun, firing down the slope of the hill, opened fire on it, and silenced that position. Drawing fire from a machine pistol nest located above him, he opened fire on it and wounded three of its occupants. Finally, taking his objective, Technical Sergeant Tanaway organized a defensive position on the reverse slope of the hill before accepting first aid treatment and evacuation. Technical Sergeant Tanaway's extraordinary heroism and devotion to duty are in keeping with the highest traditions of the military service and reflect great credit on him, his unit, and the United States Army. The Medal of Honor is awarded to Captain Francis B. Y. for extraordinary heroism in action on 20 October 1944 in Leyte, Philippine Islands. Captain Y. landed at Red Beach, Leyte in the face of accurate, concentrated enemy fire from gun positions advantageously located in a palm grove bounded by submerged rice paddies. Finding the first four waves of, of American soldiers leaderless, disorganized, and pinned down on the open beach, he immediately assumed command, issuing clear and concise orders and disregarding heavy enemy machine gun and rifle fire, he began to move inland through the rice paddies without cover. The men, inspired by his cool demeanor and heroic example, rose from their positions and followed him. During the advance, Captain Y repeatedly determined the locations of enemy strong points by deliberately exposing himself to draw their fire. In leading an assault upon the last remaining Japanese pillbox in the area, he was killed by its occupants. Captain Wise's courageous, aggressive leadership inspired the men, even after his death, to advance and destroy the enemy. His intrepid and determined efforts were largely responsible for the rapidity with which the initial beachhead was secured. Captain Wise's extraordinary heroism and devotion to duty are in keeping with the highest traditions of military service and reflect great credit on him his unit, and the United States Army. Let us pray. Now may the face of God shine upon us, and may his ever-abiding presence go with us as we endeavor to serve our great nation. May the example set forth by these honored guests be a guiding principle to lead us forward to be true servants. Keep us ever in your loving care, and guide us by your steady hand. In your holy name we pray, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain seated while the recipients and their families depart the pavilion. Thank you. <laughs> 